Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today I wanted to start out by just showing you guys a snippet that I've been working on. Um, I was seeing Rachel and a couple of other people do the slow stitching and things like that. Well, as you all know, I've told you I don't sew. I don't sew on sewing machine. I don't sew by hand. Um, it's just not something that I'm that good at yet. I can make my way around my sewing machine to, you know, sew around my tags and book pages and things like that. But other than that, I mean, I've not even changed the setting on my sewing machine because I have no idea what all that means. So that being said, also with the slow stitching or, um, you know, sewing or stitching by hand, I have arthritis in my hands. And when I do something that you know tedious it can really get to me so this little bit that I did on this yesterday last night just playing around well it got to me no more than I did but I'm gonna hang there with it uh, it's not a very big piece I just figure if I just you know do a little bit here and there eventually perhaps it'll get done so this is the snippet and I hope that glare is not too bad that I've started making I did put one of um, the flowers on there from um, Sweet Claudia over at Timeless Crochet for You. And I did manage to get one of my yo yo stitched on there. So I've not done any sewing on this at all yet. So, uh, at least not with the sewing machine. I did a little bit by hand. And, um,. I'll show you guys there. And this all down here is pretty plain. I've not put anything extra on it at all. Um, so that's the way that's going. Um, like I said, I did stitch on the yo-yo. And I did a little bit of stitching here. I don't know what you call that. And it's, you know, crooked and looks kind of crazy. But um, did that. And then I did a couple of small pieces across here. Uh, and then I did manage to get the button sewed on there, and it's actually going to stay. I think I did pretty good on that button. It's on there pretty good. It's my first button, y'all, ever in my life. First button. So, anyway, so that's just my little share of something that I'm working on. So, like I said, it's not a very big piece, and, you know, hopefully sooner or later it'll get done. Because um, I really like that slow stitching, and embroidering and things like that so i'm just watching a lot of different people on youtube trying to figure out how to do that because lord knows i don't know how so i just wanted to share that with you guys real quick so what this video is today is i had contacted or went over to etsy to Lori at um piles of paragraphs and got the september tag kit um i've watched gail do these quite a few few times uh saw her do these so we're gonna go ahead and get started and do the piles of paragraph tag of the month so let's see what we got in here i don't know if i've seen this stuff before what is that guys it's kind of stretchy and it looks like it's got cotton or something in the inside i have no idea what that is um so we'll just see and then it looks like we got some little things in here. I have no idea what you call those either because I, I don't think I've ever used those. There's a little bitty. Oh, there's some more in there, guys. They're so small. Let's see. Get out of there. Get, get, get. You too. Get out of there. Okay. I think we got them all out. All right. So let's see what we have here. All right, so we have Welcome to Piles of Paragraph, Tag of the Month, September 2020. So evidently this one was created using just the items in the kit. Okay, so let's see. We got this. It's like some pretty small pieces of scrapbooking paper we have here then it looks like we have some ribbons oops okay got that one 
And then we got some cheesecloth. I really do like this color, guys. Okay, we're going to put the cheesecloth. Oh. Things is sticking to me, y'all. Get off of there. Okay. Alright, then we have this little sheer piece with some little sparkly dots on it, it looks like. And then, okay, so this must be our tag. This is where we start at. Okay. Alright. So this is Lori at Piles of Paragraphs. So, again, this is my first one. So, Lori, I hope I do you proud. So you guys go on over there and see her if you're interested in doing the uh, tag of the month from Piles of Paragraphs. So I'm going to keep her card. So I'll put that over there. Okay. So it says we can add things of our own. I'm going to try to use just what's here. Uh, don't really know if it's going to work out that way. And Okay, and then I, when I'm done, I need to share it on Instagram using the hashtag Piles of Paragraph. I think I can handle that. Okay. So we'll put that over here. And move these little things. And then we will just get started. So I guess first I need to make it look like a tag, don't I? Alright. Alright, so we got it started. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm excited about this project getting a, my project basket ready for my next project decided to do a little something with a kid I'd had for I've had for a little while okay all right there's no time limit on this is there guys this might take the whole 30 minutes okay all right let's see what do we want to do um, all right, so we have this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this white border that's on this. I don't really care for that. Teeny tad there. So I did get my video posted today um, of my, my antique haul from the antique market. Oh, goodness. I can't get a hold of anything today, y'all struggling um so yeah i hope you all had a chance uh this video will actually air on monday because i'm filming on sunday and i had already given you guys the bonus video um today on sunday of my haul so i didn't want to go ahead and post another video today i like this this has got some kind of texture or weaving something on the back that's pretty cool all right let's see uh so yeah we will i will um this video will post on monday all right so that's kind of cute there let's see what we're going to do here but yeah i hope you've all had a good weekend i had a my husband and I had a really good weekend. Let's see. Put that right there. And, um, let's see what this one. Do we want to put that? Uh, well, no, that's not going to work. To maybe um okay let's try this kind of like that but it needs something back here I think what if we put that down there kind of cut it to size But yeah, we had a really good time on our trip yesterday and went to um, Home Depot this morning. My crafting table, as a lot of you know, is my Aunt Landa's who passed away back in 
March. It is her old sewing table. And uh, I had noticed, and I'm sure you guys noticed in the video too, some spots down around here and here where the paint that was, <coughs> excuse me, put on it was uh, chipping away. So, um, trying to take care of it and protect it as much as I can. So, my husband and I went to Home Depot this morning and got some um just a piece of plywood it's real pretty it's this gray looking color i don't know how well you guys can see this but i did post some pictures on my uh facebook page um let's see what are we doing here of it and yeah so i really like the way that it looks and there was actually enough um, for him to cut a piece off of it to um, I don't know about this little box right here I don't know about that oh we've got this um, but yeah there was enough of it to cut a piece to go over my whole sewing table so we have this same thing um there we go that might work want that on up there so i think so i think we do i think we do um to go all over my sewing table so and that's pretty much gonna be covered completely up so that made a lot of sense didn't it So, yeah, I really like it. It turned out good. We want that hanging over, guys. How about that? Something like that, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. We could do some of these up here at the top, maybe give it a little something up here these things are so small and my hands just don't oh where did it go do well with small things tend to struggle come here you let's see that's kind of cute and then we could put a hole in it and put, oh yeah, I could put one of these on there. Oh, maybe I should have looked at what kind of distress I had that would go with this. I don't know if I have a purple or a lavender. Oh, what are we going to do with this? Are we going to do something with this? Maybe we could do that and then get us a word to go in there. Uh, she did say we could use some of our own stuff. What if we just did a word? Let's see. Word, word, word. Where are you, words? Let's see. We have words in here. Let's see what we have, guys. Those will all be too long. And if you hear that tapping, I apologize. Mr. Spencer's on the move in here. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's blank. Bring to pass. Be a voice, not an echo. That one's pretty good. That way you can still... S oh, hello. See that on the ends. Let's see. If we have anything we like better. So this is cursive. Inspire. Prove them wrong. You make my heart smile. That one's too big. Keep the faith. What about keep the faith, guys? Maybe we could cut a little bit off the end. That way we could see more of that. Oh, well, I kind of like that. And then, I don't know what we're going to do with this. Do we have to use everything? No. I don't think we have to use everything. 
Um, what if we pulled this junk out of here? What is this? Let's see. Kind of made it flatter. Can we do that? Can we kind of destruct it a little bit, guys? Oh no, I'm tearing it apart. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Well, that doesn't look good right there. Maybe across the bottom. Maybe right there. And then we could have this, maybe both of them, somehow. Um, up here, in the hole. Alright guys, I think that's kind of cute. I'm just going to go for it. Let's just do that. Alright, let's get these out of our way before we mess it up and... Forget the way we had it, because that's something I would do. Alright, guys, get in there, get in there. There you go. And I'm not putting a Tina number on there, so don't worry. I know you guys were all wondering if I was going to grab one of those or not. Okay, what I am going to do is I, I do want to punch a hole in this. So I'm going to look and just see if I have anything to, or what colors I have to maybe distress these uh, whole reinforcers. So I'm going to hop up and go look. 30 second dance party. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. That may have been more than 30 seconds. Alright, dance party's over with. Okay guys, so it looks like I have a speckled egg. And I have cracked pistachio. I don't know what they're going to look like on that. And then I have the uh, wilted violet. Which may be a huge contrast with the rest of it however it may just bring out this violet here so let's go ahead and try this one first just for giggles let's see what that's going to look like and I will go ahead and get my hole punchers out which are just about broken because I was too rough with them but <coughs> they still work and let me see if I have something to use on there. Sorry if that's loud, guys. I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging. Let's see what we have in here that we can use with that purple. thought I had some extra small ones, but I don't think so. Alright, let's just use this one. Looks like it's got a little bit of set belts on it, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Alright, get that back down in there. That's the black. Okay, let's see. That has a little bit of green on it, but not much. It's barely been used. So, we'll just do this. And I'll do it over here. Make sure we're not... Oh, I think that's going to be good, guys. So, see, I'm just decorating the envelope. Getting it ready for another project. Oh, 
yes, I like it, I like it, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do a lot of them when we have it out to have it ready just in case. There's anything else in our near future we'll just do this whole page real quick i hope you guys have time here we go it's a pretty color guys so this is distress ink by tim holtz ranger and it is wilted violet so maybe you guys can see that yeah i just can't see even with my glasses on all right let's get these other ones out of the way so these are now ready so i guess we need to glue stuff down right okay let's take just a little bit off of here get this a little bit smaller do we want to distress this in that purple guys what do you guys think would that be too weird hmm let's just do it guys come on what's it gonna hurt Let's see if we can get it all done without having to dip it again. Uh, we're going to have to dip it. Sorry, guys. Just a tad. There we go. Oh, I think that's going to be pretty. Yeah, I should have dipped it to begin with. Oh, look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is really pretty. Okay. So, like that. Alright, so let's just deconstruct this. Try to figure out where I had everything so I don't forget. And then that went over the top. And then this goes at the bottom. This goes at the side. Those are going to go there. This one's there, that one's there, so we're going to start out with this one. Do we want to come down? I think about right there. That way we can see that right there. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing, guys. We're putting it together. thought I had some dry wipes out. Nope, none of the drawers. Let me grab a dry wipe, guys. They're just right here. They're not very far, so it's not enough time for a dance party. And I hope I didn't get my fat head in that shot. Alright, so gonna put that like that and then we'll just press it down and then we can just get everything else glued down and then we will go around it and cut that off what we need to Just use Fabri-Tac on this uh, since I have all these different elements. Okay, come here. Come here, you. Okay. Got that down. All right. 
right now did we have that all the way to the bottom this one about here was it and then this one maybe right there and then that yep that's it okay just making sure guys I forget easily most days I have the memory of a carrot these days so to make sure of how we had it so yeah we took a little trip to Home Depot this morning and got that paneling and got all that set so yeah see about where that one goes so yeah I'm really happy about the top just wanted to protect her desk and didn't hurt that the bonus was I also got to cover my sewing table which is just I don't know just one of the cheaper I guess white fold out tables um, is all it is so yeah it could use a little something something anyway so it got yes a little something something and I think it looks really good okay let's get this one down and then we'll get that down next I believe go ahead and cut that off because it's making it hard for me to see exactly how it's coming out okay cut that across the top lord goodness I can't hardly see that guys even with my glasses on okay there we go we got it we got it So now, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to put these little bitty things on there. Do I have tweezers? I think I have tweezers. Maybe tweezers will work. Let's see. Maybe not. I don't even know which side the glue goes on, y'all. Never ever used these before. It's got a hole in it, so how's that glue going to... Is it just going to come out? Okay, we'll put that one there. Okay, we did it. And then we'll get this one on the other side of it. Get some glue on him. Come on, glue. Come on. You can do it. Here we go. That one about there, because we got to think about our hole. Okay. May have gotten a little bit too much glue on there. I'm trying to get out of camera, aren't I, guys? Sorry about that. Okay, I think that's okay. And now this itty bitty. Let's get itty bitty on there. Ugh, let's try to get that off. Okay, there we go. Maybe that'll be better. Alright, yep, much better. That one there. Somewhere. Come on, get off of there now.
Okay, there we go. Ooh. That was hard enough, wasn't it? Can you guys see that? Is that cute? Okay. Now, this beautiful cheesecloth. I really love that color. And then this will go about here. Be down a little bit farther. And then this will go here. Kind of break up this space. Then maybe we could put a couple of these right here. Oops. Yep, let's do that. See exactly where we need this glue at. And I think I'm just going to leave this cheesecloth hanging off too. Instead of cutting it down here. I don't know. Maybe we should bunch it. Should we bunch it guys? Yeah. So if y'all hear that racket. Two of my grandchildren are here. And it looks like perhaps they just. Came in from outside. I know they were in the pool earlier so. And then I think they were just playing outside, but... Okay, let's see if we can bunch that right there. I think that's okay bunch, don't you guys? Maybe we can try to bunch this side up a little bit more. Because if you think about it, if it goes down in a pocket and we leave it hanging out too far oops come back then it's gonna get hung every time there we go I think that'll be good all right now this one go about here right And then this. Boy, this is going to be longer than my regular video. Oh, the pressure. Oh, I think about right there. Okay. Let's try to gauge about where we need it at. They probably wasted just as much time waiting on this glue to get down in the bottom. Alrighty. Now if I could remember exactly how far up I said I was going to bring it. Let's do about right there. There we go. And then we're going to have this like that. Go ahead and put some glue on him. Sometime today. There we go. Okay. glue on here get that on there about right there oh it's so cute ah love it love it love it is so cute oh this is so sweet okay 
we wanted to do let's do one of these because it really stands out right here that way it gives it just a little something right there because it looks a little bare and then I believe the piece we had at the bottom fell in the floor so we'll just have to think about hello glue come on whether or not we want to actually use that piece because to be honest with you I kind of like it just the way it is right now yep yep oh look at that can you guys see that good isn't it cute I'm so excited oh okay now we're just about done so let's hope that these <coughs> reinforcers don't kill it guys I'm terrible at getting this where it's supposed to be oh my gosh I'm so worried oh that and this is the part I'm worried about okay there went nothing oh pretty good yes okay let's see Please be pretty. Oh, that's good. That's good, because I think it just brings this color up. Okay, we're going to stick one of these on the back, too. There we go. That way we have the same color on the back. Oh, look, guys. All right, let's figure this out because I'm not great at this either. Let's see. Um, I don't know which side on that. So how do we do this, guys? Do we just put it in there and tie it, or do we... What do we do? Um... Okay, well, I told you guys I wasn't good at this part. Let's just go for it and see what happens if we tie it. Oh, trying to get both pieces too. Let's see. Okay. Um, how is this going to go? How do people normally do this? I know. I'm looking all crazy right now, guys. I, I know. I know. Um, they do this. And then open it up. I think we need to do it the other way. this way okay so this is a tutorial on how to not put a ribbon oh my goodness okay let's see um, it's even gonna go through there or was I supposed to do it the other way? Was I supposed to do it the other way? Let's see. Um, see if we can get it up in here. Um, yeah, guys, this is this is just a joke. I tell you. Um, I guess I got to keep going. I'm not going to refilm. Um, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick it in there and tie it. That's all I'm going to do. So, this is definitely something that Lori struggles with. Is that. So, we're just going to try and tie it and hope it looks good and
and again this some yeah that's not gonna go up high enough I don't think okay let's see all right so if nothing else we can all get a good laugh out of this part of the video because <laughs> it was all good till we got to this part I think because that still doesn't look right right guys <laughs> maybe I need to watch tutorials on this so we've already gone like 41 minutes so we're just gonna leave it with this silly silly little top on there but other than that it is a really cute tag I absolutely love how it turned out and I hope you guys do too and I'm gonna work on this and try to figure that out before I take pictures and post them but yeah so that is my September tag of the month for piles of paragraph <laughs> and I hope you all got a good laugh out of me trying to do this silly thing up there and that just goes to show I have a lot to learn and that's gonna be it okay guys uh, thank you all for supporting my channel I really do appreciate it please give me a thumbs up and we will see you later bye guys